Mr. Glavin, I read your complaint about two years ago. You and the defendant moved in together and you bought a television set. And you split the cost of the television set that you bought two years ago. How much did you put in? $300. And you put in $300. Yes, ma'am. And then you split up. Now it's two years later. She kept the TV and you want your $300. Yes, ma'am. That was the, the terms that we agreed to when we, when we split up and split all our stuff. You mean she agreed to give you the $300? Yes, ma'am. Is that correct? Not necessarily. Well, what does that mean, not necessarily? Don't be stupid. If, if either you agreed to give him $300 or you didn't agree to give him the $300. Well, he said that he didn't necessarily need the $300 at the time when we were first. Could you look at me? Don't look at the floor. Yes, ma'am. When we were first going through the whole breakup situation, uh, he said that it wasn't necessary to give him $300, and I offered, and no, then no, no, I no. changed my I mind. I want you to tell me exactly how it happened. And don't fumfa. What does that mean? Don't waff your answer. I'm not waffing now, my answer. Now, now, he says that you agreed, when you were splitting up the property, that you would keep the TV and you would give him $300. And your response to me was not necessarily. So now I want you to tell me exactly what happened. I offered to give him $300. What? No, tell me what you said to him. What I said he to said, him? do you want the TV or do you want me to take the TV? If I take the TV, you give me $300. <sighs> I want to know what was said, not I offered. Sorry, I'm trying to process, so I word this correctly now. <laughs> just um, word me the way it happened. I'm telling you the way it happened. I... He didn't... I'm sorry, one moment. I can tell you if you want, ma'am. I offered. I didn't agree to anything, and he accepted my offer to give him back now, his money you? after he said it's not necessary for you to give me the $300 when I was taking the what TV. What property did you keep that you would acquire together? That we acquired together, the only thing that he had helped pay for that I kept was the TV. Okay. And what did you take? Uh, I took nothing that we acquired together. Is that correct? Yes, but we only paid for the TV together. Well, where is the TV now? The TV is at my apartment. At your apartment? Well, somebody's got to get the TV and somebody has to pay their share. And I don't know if it's $300, but if you agree to give them $300, televisions depreciate. They don't stay the same. It's not worth the same now if she went, you see, if neither one of you wanted the TV, Mr. Glavin, mm -hmm. if neither one of you wanted the TV, what the court would do is say, you find somebody to buy it and split 50-50 the proceeds. That sounds fair, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Because nobody's going to pay $600 for a television set that you bought two years ago and used for two years. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, do you want the TV? Yes, I do. Did you offer to give him the $300, and did he accept that offer? He didn't originally, and then he did. I did accept the offer. Originally? Oh. Originally, I accepted the offer. <clears throat> originally, she said... She was the one that made the original offer of $300. I told her, I don't necessarily need the money, but I will accept the offer. And that was the final terms. Okay, fine. Now, you want to go into this telephone? Yes, ma'am. When we were still living together at my parents' house before she had moved out, she had taken my phone. On what date? On what day? What uh, date? I don't know an exact date. Very late October. Did you subsequently live together after that? No. Okay, so late October she left. Late and... October, and she saw a text from one of my friends from Orlando, and it made her very mad. Uh, and she took the phone and she uh, pressed it against a side of a dresser for leverage and snapped it in half. And after that, uh, I paid the insurance cost, which was $150. Tell me your version of the phone. We did live together after I broke the phone because we were still together. We were living at his parents' house at the time because we were in between leases. We were waiting for our next lease to start after our last lease had ended. This was after our lease had shh, ended? Shh, shh, yeah. shh, shh. And, uh, I was sitting next to him on the bed one night, or it was, it was about the middle of the day, and he was talking to someone, and I asked who he was talking to, and I saw it was some girl from Orlando, and I asked to see the messages, and he said no. So I took the phone, and it was a message, it was a conversation in regards to him cheating on me, and it made me very angry because he... So you broke the phone? Yes. Okay. I mean... Good. $450. $300 was an agreed upon arrangement between the two of you for the TVs, which I'm not going to get involved with since you agreed to it, and $150 for the insurance for the phone. We're done.